I'm Mingrid. Thank you for visiting my vegan lifestyle and cooking channel, The Early Fair Cuisine. Our mission from now on is to separate the solid waste we generate in our house. Very important, clean all the items that you see that have potential to be transformed or to be recycled. So every bag, every container that you see that has potential. Now let's continue with the recipe cassava dumplings with two stuffings, mushrooms and tofu, and soy protein and lentils. Follow me on Instagram for more ideas of how we can contribute to improve the health of our planet in short recipes. Subscribe to my channel, click like, comment and share. And now let's continue with the recipe. For these cassava dumplings, you need fresh cassava or yuca. So we need this texture finely grated or crushed. In some supermarkets, you can find it already crushed, or um, you can you can get the um, root and you can achieve this texture using a blender or a food processor. Then put it in the microwave. Start with two minutes then take it out mix it well add a little bit of salt and then microwave for two more minutes or until it has a translucent and chewy texture like this to offset or minimize this texture of cooked cassava make a um, make a dough with corn flour with yellow or white corn flour if you have white corn flour, you can add some paprika and turmeric to give these dumplings a really uh, delicious yellow color. For the dough, for this dough, you need one cup of flour, of corn flour, one tablespoon of white vinegar, and one cup of water. Add half teaspoon of salt and mix well. If you don't want to add color to the dough, that's fine too because the filling has a lot of flavor. Let it rest for a couple minutes, two, three minutes, so the flour flakes are gonna be well hydrated. The amount of shredded cassava is one pound, what I'm using right now. The proportion will be approximately 60% cassava and 40% corn flour dough. When the corn dough is well hydrated, combine and mix very well with the cooked yuca or cassava. Cooked cassava can be a bit heavy to work with, so when mixing, do it without much pressure so you don't get tired. We put the dough aside and we are going to prepare the two filling options. First, chop green onions along with two cloves of garlic then saute with a tablespoon of olive oil in the description of this video i'll leave the ingredients and measurements for this recipe let the onion and garlic saute and turn a little brown because it gives a very rich flavor to this mixture of texture soy protein and lentils I made it a while ago and I had it in the freezer. I use this protein directly while it's still frozen and I just put a lid, a lid on and I just let it thaw slowly and saute with this onion and garlic. Do the same procedure that we did with the onion and garlic as a flavor base for the next filling. Take about 200 grams of tofu or a cup of tofu and mash it with the knife or to get some lumps of tofu. You can use the base of a cup or just with your fingers and make some crumbs. Chop mushrooms into small dice. Saute along with the tofu and paprika, turmeric, cumin, salt, pepper or the spices of your choice. But I recommend that you keep the cumin in this recipe. Optional, if you have mushroom powder, add a little bit extra mushroom flavors. Saute until it gets a little bit drier. Don't worry if it looks dry. It is the desired texture to avoid liquids dripping when we are filling these dumplings. 
This recipe is about Yucatan plains, but with this dough you can give it the shape you want. In this first option, I show you how to make a rounded dumpling and I'm using these dumpling molds. I only have two tips to give you when handling the cassava dough. First, wet your hands constantly with water, all the time. And second, use disinfected pieces of plastic bag and preferably that it doesn't have any letters or ink or prints. I just cut these from some grocery bags and I wash them with soap and they are really clean but I have to keep them wet constantly. These dumpling molds are very practical and I love them because it gives this aesthetical uh, closing to the dumplings. Another tip, just try not to fill too much the dumplings so that it, when you open and take it out, it's going to be smooth and it's not going to have any marks. If you don't have these dumpling molds, you can make the pastry or dumpling shape with a cup as I show you. First, press on the edges to seal and then cut with the edge of a cup. Could we use this pure cassava dough to make dumplings? Yes, but they absorb, absorb a lot of oil. That's why we make this combination 60% and 40% with corn. I learned this tip uh, from my mother-in-law who made uh, cassava empanadas to sell. So this is going to avoid to absorb a lot of, a lot of oil. Heat the oil over medium high heat. Be careful that it is not recommended to fry these cassava dumplings with very hot oil because they can create a shell very quickly and seal the filling forming literally a bomb. So you need to control the temperature and it is advisable to turn them before they, you see any golden color so they can form this crunchy layer almost at the same time. Fry the dumplings or the fritters until reaching the golden tone of your preference. While we fry these dumplings, we can make a spicy guacamole to accompany these cassava dumplings. Mash an avocado, add salt, pepper, olive oil, white or apple cider vinegar or white vinegar and some hot sauce of your liking. Optional, add frozen spinach and cilantro like I am doing right now and blend everything with an immersion blender. If you minced everything, it will be spectacular too. In the link above, you can find a recipe for vegan sushi and spring rolls. In addition to this simple guacamole recipe, I also leave you these ideas so you can experiment with cassava dough and give the shape you like. Subscribe if you haven't done so, like, comment and share and enjoy! Thank you for watching this video to the end. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so. Like, comment, and share. And I hope you're separating and cleaning all the solid waste to generate in your house. Bye-bye.